Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're doing well. So in this video, we will go over the packet tracer activity for chapter three. You will find it on Moodle in week two, session one. There should be a Word document called packet, uh, packet tracer introduction. That's where you find the activity. All right. So I'll start by, uh, you can read uh, through the activity, but I'll start by, uh, I'll start from step one. So the first thing I need to do is uh, I should drag and drop a PC, a laptop, a server, and a printer. So I would go to either the end devices here, or I could just type PC and it would show up. So PC is the first one, drag and drop. Uh, laptop is the second one, drag and drop. Server is the third one drag and drop and then printer is the last one okay so those are the devices that were required now the second step is i need to configure the ip addresses for all of these devices according to this table which says lan one here so um, a workstation is nothing but a pc all right so anywhere you see a workstation it means it's basically a pc so i would click on pc first Okay, and then go to desktop tab, IP configuration, and then add all these information here. So the first one is IP address, 192.168.1.2. Okay, if I, when I'm done writing the IP address, it would automatically add the subnet mask for me. So you don't need to write it. And then the default gateway is nothing but 192.168.1.1, okay? Now I'm done with the uh, IP configuration for the PC. If for some reason you want to see the IP configuration on a, on a device and you don't have graphical user interface, what you could do is you can go to command prompt and write IP config, one word, IP config, and it will give you all the details uh, of the configuration. So it says the IP address is this here. Okay, and then the subnet mask and the default gateway is this. The default gateway <clears throat> is nothing but the address of a router. In this activity, we will not do, will not add a router because that's something that you are not aware of yet. So we will skip that, but usually a default gateway is the address of the exit router. Okay, um, now are we done with the PC? So for the laptop, the same thing. We would go to the... Um, the laptop itself, the desktop tab, and then IP configuration. I would put in the IP address here. It is 192.168.1.4. According to the table, it is 1.4. And the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Okay, I will close this, close this. Um, for the server, it is again, 192.168.1.3 tab oops tab tab 192.168.1.1 okay close that <clears throat> for the printer it is a bit different because it doesn't have a desktop tab so you would go to config and then if it says gateway or default gateway that's where you would add the gateway address 192.168.1.1 and then you would go to the fast ethernet uh, section and then that's where you would write the ip address 192.168.1.5 okay and the subnet mask would appear automatically so that's it for the configuration of uh, the lan or the devices on the network the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a switch and connect all the devices to that particular switch. Okay, so I would add a switch here. I would pick switch from here. Uh, I'll, I'll pick 2960. That's the switch I'm, I, I will add here. And then I would go to connections, pick the first one. This ba connection basically selects the most appropriate cable based on the devices that you're connecting. Okay, so one by one, I will connect all of them. Uh, if you if you notice here, the uh, the circle is basically orange. That means it is just starting up. Okay. If you want to make it green, you just click on here. 
where it says fast forward time and it would become green if, if you want to see it like that okay so now oops sorry so i'm done with the switch as well i've added the switch now what i need to do is i need to create another uh, network similar network with similar devices and then i would uh, basically just make the ip addresses different according to the table and then connect both the switches uh, based on how it's shown here you can take a look here so this is the one that i created right now this is the one that you need to create again and then you just connect the switches uh, accordingly using the same connection <clears throat> I will not do that. I will leave up to I will leave it up to you to continue, um, you know, creating the second network. I'll just wor work on the first one that I created. Okay. So I don't need this anymore. I will just use the packet tracer now. The first thing I want to show you is how can we configure DNS. So I have a server right now. How can I configure the DNS service on this? So if I just click on the server, I, I have a tab here that says services. Okay, so if I go to this tab, it shows me all the services that can be configured on this server. I will pick DNS first. And the first thing you need to do is turn the service on. Okay, because um, initially it is switched off. So you turn it on and then you need to provide your domain name. This is nothing but the URL. Okay, so www dot let's say i don't know i'll, I'll use my name leha.com okay um or you can use polytechnic whatever you want to create the domain name for okay the address is the address of this server because i only have one server right now right so i want it to redirect to this server so the uh, the ip address for the server was 192.168 if you don't remember the IP address, you can just hover over uh, the devices and it would show you uh, the IP address. So, for instance, here, if I don't remember the address, I could just hover over it and it would tell me the address is basically 192. Oops. <laughs> the address is basically 192.168.1.1. Okay. So, I would go back to DNS, write the domain name again. Uh, this one would be 192.168.1.3 and add. Okay, so we're done with this. Now, what should be happening is that when I go to any of the clients, any of the PC or laptop, I should be able to browse the domain that I just created, which is www.aliha.com. But it, but it says host name unresolved. Why? It's because we did not, this PC doesn't know where to send this DNS request to. So basically, you need to specify that any domain name that is entered on this PC should be sent to the server, which has the DNS configured on, to basically resolve it. Okay? So here, I've now mentioned the server it should go to. If I go back to the browser and type in the domain, it should show me a web page, which it is showing. All right. So this means it's, it's now working properly and our DNS is configured and it's uh, up and running. Okay. Now, the second service that we want to configure is the HTTP service. Okay. So I would go back here in the server and see HTTP here. I would click on that. Okay. And then notice how HTTP is turned on and HTTPS is also turned on. Okay. This uh, particular section here is a file manager. It is nothing but all the files that are on this server. So when I go to the domain that I just created, uh, the first file that shows up is basically the index.html. Okay, for any website, the first file that shows up on the browser when you browse a website, it is the index file, index.html. Now, you can edit that here. So, I would click on edit. And this is the HTML code, 
that basically is uh, interpreted by the browser and displayed to the user. So here, let's say I will change the color to um, green. Okay. Just to see if the changes that I'm making are reflected on the website when the users are browsing. Okay. And maybe here I'm going to add another text as a paragraph. You don't have to do this uh, much, but maybe you can ch change some texts here and there. So I would just write configured by me. Okay, save that. It will give you a warning. Click on yes, and then just close the server. Now go back to the PC, click on the web browser, and go back to the domain. Click on go and see now this is in green and the text that, that I added is showing up here. Okay. So now the next one is basically email. Okay. So for email, like, uh, like I said in class, the SMTP uh, protocol is used for sending. POP or IMAP is used for receiving. Okay. So Let's, uh, if, if you want to set up uh, email service on a server, you need to turn off, uh, turn on SMTP and POP or, with, or whichever one is available and provide the domain name. Here you would write the domain name that you have. Notice you would not write www. Because then in your uh, email addresses, www will show up. Okay. So just write it without www. Make sure you click on set, otherwise it won't be set. And now like every other email, you need a user, an email account, right? So you need to create users for that. So the first one I would have is test, or let's do it this way, sender. Okay, and then receiver. So I, I've created two accounts and I'm now going to test them on, uh, on the server, okay? Sorry, on the devices. So all you had to do is turn the services on, provide the domain name, set it, and create multiple accounts for testing the email uh, service, okay? I'll close it. Now, in the PC here, I would go, I would scroll down to email. Okay, and then I'll set up the email here. So the name can be anything. You can name it um, just sender user. Okay, but the email address should be the name, uh, the username that you created at the domain name that was set. Okay, now the email server would be the same because we have uh, the same incoming and outgoing like SMTP and POP on the same server. So both these addresses would be the same, 192.168.1.3 and then 192.168.1.3. Incoming is nothing but receiving, which would be POP, and outgoing is nothing but SMTP, which is sending, okay? Um, in this case, we have them <clears throat> both on the same server. That's why we have used the same IP address. Here, you would just write the credentials, okay? and then click on save. Okay, the same thing I'm going to repeat for the laptop. I would go to the email, scroll up, receiver, account, receiver at .com, 192.168.1.3, the same thing copied for the next one because it's on the same server, and then receiver, 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 okay, save it. Now, for both of them, I will test it together. So I will keep them next to each other. Oops, okay. Compose, I will send it to receiver at liha.com. Hello there. Testing 
SMTP. Send. Okay. Now, on the other side, it should be receiving, but it, it didn't receive. So you can click on the button receive to basically receive the email. Okay. And if I click on it, it would show me where is the email coming from and what time and what is the email basically. If I compose here, send it to sender at com sender, oh, testing, play there. Okay, send, click on receive, and I received an email. Okay, so that's the email service basically.